Well, we're back with you here on a Friday to kind of put the wraps on this short trading week and let's get you updated on what's going on in the markets. We'll take a look here first at this uh, corn market with our quotes provided by Bar Chart. And the corn has really been struggling all day long and right now is no different. Let's take a look at that uh, March contract, which, by the way, goes into delivery next week. Uh, right now, nine and a quarter lower at 651, only two ticks from our low of the day. The May corn down nine and a half cents at 649 and three quarters. Same story, two ticks from its low of the day. And in December corn, we're down 10 and a half cents at 575. Wow, that's sitting on the low of the day right now and 12 cents off of its overnight high. Well, on soybeans, we're lower there too. The nearby March is down seven. May soybeans are down nine and three quarters. We're at 15, 17 and a half. Well, that's on the low of the day. We have July dropping 12 and three quarters cents. The most pressure is on the deferreds, and you have November currently down 16 cents on the day. And right now we're trading at 1371 and three quarters. Now on the wheat market in Chicago, a lot of pressure there too. Let's go to Chicago March, and we're down 28 and a quarter. The May is down 27 and a quarter at 723 and a quarter. Kansas City has really been struggling as well. We have the May contract there, 30 and three quarters lower. Look at that, 826. And that's on the low of the day as we look at it here. They're taking a huge bite out of Kansas City wheat today. And in Minneapolis wheat, the May contract there is trading 20 and three quarters lower at 883 and a quarter. July down 18 and a half. And in our quest to find a positive uh, plus sign here in the market, well, on the cotton, we can find one. Uh, the March is uh, just 19 points higher. The action is mainly now going to be in your December contract, and that is up 137 points. We're at 83.59 per pound right now, but even that is about 90 points off of its earlier high from this morning. I am joined by Todd Bubba Horowitz of BubbaTrading.com, and uh, he is actually based in Las Vegas today. So let's talk about this market setup here. I know long term you have been friendly to the markets here, but boy, today is just kind of a washout <laughs> out there. Does that change your attitude at all or not? Uh, not yet, but we're, we're a lot closer to me thinking negatively about uh, at least corn and wheat right now. Uh, corn and wheat are basically at must hold levels within the next you know, 10 or 12 cents. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, today it looks like a, a wholesale selling across everything. It, it looks like, you know, we're, there, nothing really looks safe today, whether you look at equities or even though crude's rallied a little bit, it's still under some pressure. I, I don't think anything looks really good. I think we're just seeing a, a wholesale sell-off right now. And, of course, a lot of that has to do with the PCE that came out this morning saying that they're going to probably continue to raise rates, which is not a great scenario for the farming community. So, uh, but I still believe that we're going much higher, but, uh, but obviously I am a little bit more concerned today than I have been for weeks or months. Well, the Dow is down 438 points right now on that nearby March futures contract. Todd, uh, do you think the trade might be shocked when we finally do get some commitment of traders numbers? Uh, there are rumors that maybe they'll come out this afternoon, but there have also been some rumors that Remember how on the weekly export sales data, how they had to finally kind of gradually catch up? That seems kind of goofy if they would actually do it that way. But uh, what are you hearing in that regard? I'm not hearing much of it, Marlon. And I don't think I, I think that the, the money knows what's going on. And I, I still believe that some of the pressure we're seeing is really put on by funds that really are looking to get long these markets and buy these markets and try to shake out all the weakness. And, you know, this may be a perfect day, you know, on a slow Friday to shake them out and, and really start to accumulate a little bit more. I mean, I think they're trying to build big, long positions the way it looks to me. So that's what that's what I'm banking on is that we're looking. I think the funds are looking to be buyers. And especially if the money starts to come out of the equities, that's really good for the uh, for the, the grain markets as well. All right. Well, a quick look at the uh, U.S. dollar index, and then we'll get into a break here. On the uh, dollar index values right now, we are higher, 586 points on the March futures, all the way up to 105.115. Hmm. Okay, we'll come back and we'll take a look at livestock trade with Bubba next. All right, we're back with you and let's dive into the realm of livestock trade now, shall we? Let's go to live cattle and on the futures board here with our quotes from Bar Chart, April live cattle. 
30 lower at 165.02. You compare that to where we had been close to the open, got as high as 166.40. So we've trimmed off a dollar 35 off of that. Uh, June is down 50 cents right now. Okay, let's go to the feeder cattle board. And right now you have the April contract just a nickel higher. 193.72 is now our last trade. We have actually come back about $1.20 off of our earlier low. So they sold the heck out of it for a while. And now it's starting to kind of uh, moderate once again and get close to unchanged. May feeders, 35 higher. Lean hogs, they have had quite a week. And you have May lean hogs now down 40 cents at 95.55. Uh, let's go back to Todd Bubba Horowitz. Boy, they had some stellar export sales on the pork side. And you can't tell it by looking at the futures today. No, you know, again, we're, we're in this phase of the markets, Marlon, where when you look at crude oil, crude oil is like the determining factor. Lower crude means higher cattle and lower hogs and vice versa. You know, it's a, this is really now comes a budget issue to the average consumer on what they're going to buy when they go to the grocery store. And of course, we know the, or, the order of protein is cattle, hogs and then poultry. And, you know, and then it'll be powder. It, this inflation is really starting to take hold. But of course, cattle looks really solid with oil down in the 70s. And I think if we get back over into the 80s, uh, uh, cattle won't look so good. But, you know, live cattle is about 8% from its all time high, which is kind of interesting here. But it continues to try to push a little bit higher. Well, Todd, I appreciate you joining us today and uh, best wishes for a great weekend for you. We'll talk Thanks. with you again next week, I'm sure. Todd Bubba Horowitz of BubbaTrading.com speaking to us from Las Vegas here today.